just finished testing the Stingray 214 LR. It's powered by the Mercury 150 horsepower four-stroke. Gave, gave us really good performance. This is probably the smallest engine you're ever going to see in this boat. You can bump it up to a 200, but really it gets uh, exactly the performance you need with a 150. We got on plane in 3.6 seconds, very little bow rise, to 30 miles an hour in 10.1 seconds, with a top speed of 46 miles an hour. Like all Stingrays, this thing just turns fantastic. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features of this boat. Get the kids skiing, one of them falls, no worries. I got it all the way to the lock. Well, Mark, uh Looks like we have a uh, wrestling mat up here. This is uh, quite impressive. This is a very nice area for uh, for lounging or for dropping the kids. Nice. So what do we have going on up here? Up in the front, we got uh, our bow boarding ladder and the anchor storage, place for a fender as well. And right behind it, we've got a nice cooler up here in the bow too. Nice. I love this filler cushion. I, I'm assuming we can take this out. The filler cushion is optional, and yes, it can be taken out and stored in the boat. Nice. So all the, I can imagine all the kids will be hurting up front here. I think it's set up just perfectly for them. That's right. Exactly. Let's take a look in the adult section, see okay. what's going on back there. All right, great. Uh, Mark, tell me about the helm. What do we have? Yeah, so going on the helm here is our traditional Stingray helm, full instrumentation. Uh, the outboard models have a clock. We got uh, all the switches are mounted on the right-hand side of the, the steering wheel, and there are circuit breakers for those up underneath. Nice. Yeah. And I like this little upscale look here, too. That's very nice. Yeah, this color's new for 2015. I like this. It looks like a drift, drift piece of driftwood or something. It really matches it well too. Yeah, it's actually called driftwood. It complements the uh, the new uh, latte color very well. well. Tell me about the helm seat. The helm seat's uh, standard in this boat. It's a bolster seat, flip up bolster, and it's uh, the flip up bolster is also on the uh, port side. I, I think one of my favorite uh, features on a lot of Stingray boats is that little unit right there. Yeah. Every boat should have one of these. Uh, Every the boat van. should have one. Yeah, open you know, you, you're down behind the uh, down behind the windshield here, so if you need if you need to have some air in the cockpit, you can push this uh, this vent out and get plenty of air right. Beautiful. It's like air conditioning. Yes. Now, what do we have here? Over on the uh, port side, you have a uh, a head compartment, a nice size head compartment. This boat has the optional uh, pump out head. So uh, plenty of room to get in there. There's also some lighting in there too. Yeah, that, you know, that's not an emergency use only head. That's a proper man size head there. Yes, it is. For sure. Yes. Man, this is something you'd see on a yacht, not a bow rider. That's right, this is new for 15. We've got an optional teak table upgrade. There is a standard table in the boat, but this is the optional teak table. I like how it has the little lift here to keep things from sliding all the way off. Yes, a very nice table. Now what do we have for storage back here? For storage in the back, we got a huge trunk place to put all your inflatables, water sports gear. Wow. Tons of room in the back for uh, for storing anything. Man, that's just a bad away from being a berth down yes, there, I'll tell is. you what, man. Yes, it's it is. huge. Fantastic. Now, I see we're uh, ready for uh, water sports here with this uh, ski toe. Right. Removable ski toe bar on the back, so if you're not going skiing, you can take it off. Nice. Yes. Now, where do we, where can we store skis here? Skis can be stored in the, in the ski storage in the floor. If we look down on the floor, we've got a, a nice large area there for storing skis, also a removable pad. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, Mark, this is an interesting little compact entertainment center here. What do we have? Yeah, it is. There's a freshwater system standard on the boat, and you've got a small sink here for washing your hands off when, uh, when you're slicing up uh, vegetables or fruit there on the countertop. Nice. We've got a cooler ready for beverage man uh, manufacturing here. Yeah, cooler standard on the boat as well. Nice. What about the carpeting here? Snapping carpeting is option on the boat, but we have full cockpit has snapping carpet option available. Nice, and uh, I love this sturdy bimini here. That's uh, pretty stout. Yeah, the bimini tops are nice. They're double uh, double rail and uh, anti vibration mounts. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Mark, what do we have going on back here? So on the back, we got our nice large uh, pods on the back for getting on and off the boat. Plenty of room to to maneuver around the outboard engine. Also here, we got a little cooler, a storage compartment for ski ropes, uh, whatever you want to use it for. Nice. For more information on the Stingray 214 LR and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones and we'll see you out on the water.